Yo, 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 this is King Erna coming to you live and direct. Um, I want to say to all the guys that's in the streets running around, it's better that you get life insurance. The reason why I say it's better that you get life insurance is because you see that no one has really totally control of their own life. The reason why I'm saying this is because when you turn on the news, when you turn on your social media, all you see is murder, murder, murder. So not to be selfish, to always be on point when it comes down to your family, it's best that you get life insurance. Now I'm not picking out no particular one. Me and myself, I have New York life insurance. It's very honorable, you know. Um, that way, if something happened to you, these suckers, Guess what? Let me get you understanding. They don't get a chance to sit back and laugh. They don't get a chance to say his family don't got nothing and let's antagonize them also. You know why? Because you dying is a replacement of what you would be doing if you was there. That's what the life insurance does. It replaces you. It may not replace you physically, but it'll replace all of the responsibilities, all of the things that you do for your family. Now, if you're not a dope boy, still get life insurance. The reason why is because at the end of the day, you don't know what could happen to you. If you live in the Philadelphia, Chicago, D.C., Detroit, all these cities, New York, all these cities that murder and mayhem is going on, you're liable to get killed anyway. So it's best for you, especially be more, you know what I mean? It's best for you to jump on top of that as soon as possible. You don't want to wait or, you know, um, take time in doing something that's needed. This is needed. This is something that if you don't have, your family is going to be throwing fish fries, GoFundMes. This is how life is. And, you know, just to make sense out of sense, you want to make sure that some honorable money. Now, some dude's going to say, oh, man, if a drug dealer he's supposed to know. In 2018, if I'm not mistaken, and, you know, drug dealers, you can, you can tell me. It's like working. It's like having a great job, a good job. Where's though you're able to pay your bills? Drug dealing is struggling. This is why so much murder is going on when it comes down to it. You know what I'm saying? And um, some would disagree, but I could be wrong. But the thing is, I want I want to give everybody an understanding that if it isn't like that, then why is everyone harming each other? If it isn't like that, why is it a thing where when you turn on the news is Murder. They don't even the news shouldn't even even get a story anymore. It's just murder, and then keep on going because we're not winning on no level. When I say we're not winning, I mean we have brothers like LeBron James that are 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 winning. You know what I mean? Brothers <clears throat> that are in the sports or millionaires that are in the music industry or whatever the case may be, they're winning. But at the end of the day, they still got to struggle. Got to keep their numbers up or they're not going to be honored. When you see the best of the best being honored, a black man at that, it's about his talent. It ain't really about them showing love or support because a lot of the other players don't get no recognition on, on no level at all unless they perform, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, man, we got to start finding out an avenue where our people is needed also. You know what I'm saying? Doctors, lawyers you know, government officials in a positive way, not locking up your own people, you know what I mean? Maybe to help the laws go in the right way, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, I just wanted to stop by and say that to the people today, and I wanted to really let everybody know that I say that to the drug dealers more than I say it to the dudes who don't sell drugs only because the drug dealers have that family thinking they're one way, and then when they pass away, it's another way because their family got to come out. 
and it'll be that working grandmother or it'll be that working aunt who steps up and actually puts up the money to have the person, you know, bury, and it, it puts a burden on them. Because after that, then what? Especially a grandmother or a grandfather, you know, they get their pension, they get their check every month. But I'm saying the money, the little money they have saved up, then what? I'm King Earner from the Honor Your Life campaign. Let's thank for each other. Let's help this community raise up and let's tell all the drug dealers and all the dope boys, all everybody that's involved, stop it. Let's come together. Let's come to understanding on something, man. Pick something else to earn off, man. Something legal that you can keep in the long run. Something you don't have to fight for in federal court. King Grant alive and direct.